Exploring our own world and the universe beyond has been full of surprises. Just a few hundred years ago, we assumed that everything about us and our surroundings was special and unique. Now we know there are lots of stars out there, many like our sun. We're discovering other solar systems with planets. And the chemicals of life, forged in stars, are abundant in the universe. If those common chemicals have caught the spark of life somewhere else, who knows how that life will evolve, what path it will follow, and whether we'll ever meet. But is it crazy to believe that somewhere beyond our planet, life has taken root? Here on Earth, we are the only species that has mastered technology. Since it's so rare here, should we really expect technology to be common among the aliens? Many would say no. When paleontologist Peter Ward looks at Earth's track record, the odds for technological aliens don't seem very promising. There's maybe 30 million species on the planet today. And if we look at the fossils, there are hundreds of millions of species in the past. Well, only one of them which has risen to technology. It's happened one time out of hundreds of millions of possibilities on planet Earth. One time, one time only. So that's an astronomically small number. But the folks at SETI continue to hope. Now, Tom, look at this one because... Searching for alien signals night after night can test anyone's patience. Unless, of course, you find one. Most evenings, SETI will get a false alarm or two. But one night in 1997, they received a signal so strong and true, it looked as if their long search might be over. The lead astronomer that evening was SETI director Jill Tarter. Following standard procedure, she pointed the receiving dish away from the star where the signal appeared to originate. If the signal remained, it was just a stray transmission from Earth. We went off in another direction and the signal went away and we came back and it was there. And we went off in another direction and the signal went away and we came back and it was there. And it was now getting very interesting. The historic moment didn't survive the night. The signal was coming from a distant research satellite. The champagne remained unpopped. Despite the disappointment, SETI has never lost faith. Its scientists remain convinced that our universe is capable of producing intelligent life on many different worlds. I truly believe there are signals out there. I also recognize full well that our instruments, as powerful as they are, are hardly beginning the search. The number of stars we've looked at, the number of radio frequencies, is minuscule compared to the total inventory of combinations of stars and frequencies there are to search. So we have hardly started. We should not have succeeded. Only through a great fluke of good luck would we have succeeded by now. Humans have been leaking radio waves into space for most of the past century. Compared to the history of our Milky Way galaxy, about 10 billion years, that's a tiny blip. And we've been actively listening for radio signals from distant civilizations for only about 40 years. If the aliens are on the other side of the galaxy, any signal they send could take tens of thousands of years to reach Earth. It's as if the aliens were throwing a dart and trying to hit one tiny spot on this enormous landscape of time and space. Let's face it, the odds of our capturing that signal aren't very good. And yet, who can blame us for trying? For me, it's the most interesting question. Are we alone? What's our place in this universe? How do we fit in? Are we just run-of-the-mill? Are we totally exceptional? Or are we somewhere in between? 
I feel like I'm six years old when I say it. I, I feel almost embarrassed. I just want to know, are they out there? And all of my science training and math and, and skills as a researcher kind of go out the door. I just feel that this is a question that is going to be so profound for us as a species, but also individually. Each one of us will have to look within ourselves and figure out what it means to us. Are we alone? Are we rare? Are we common? We still do not know. But perhaps someday we will. And the answer, whatever it is, will reshape our sense of ourselves and our place in the universe. <laughs>